Today I want to show you this amazing tool that will help you achieve the best color in your video. Before we start, I want to welcome the new people to the channel. I'm Kevin and it's great having you here. You know how sometimes when your footage comes out to orange or to blue, or maybe you have two cameras and when you go and try to cut those footages together, one is too dark, the other one is too bright, or maybe the colors between the footages are just off. Well, this magical tool I have today can solve all those problems and it's called a color checker. Before I go into how to use this, let's talk about its features. The first thing I wanna talk about is the video target. These little colored squares aren't just randomly chosen colored construction paper. Each one of these little squares are scientifically calibrated with its own designated values. These colors are meant to match the colors we normally see, such as skin tones, trees, flowers, coffee, Sometimes when I color correct too long, I become a bit colorblind and I just assume my color is perfect when it's clearly too blue or too green. So this color chart is a great guideline to balancing your colors. The second thing you see is this giant gray panel and this one is used for white balance. Since our eyes adjust automatically and flawlessly to different lighting, like when we walk from outside to inside, we can't really tell the difference. Since cameras can't do that as well as we do, sometimes it gets confused as to what color to switch to when it's on auto white balance. Having a standard gray square to match your footage to later will help you save a lot of time in post and I'll show you how to do that later. For the two other targets, I'm just gonna quickly gloss through them since most of the people only use the first two. The white, black, and gray chart is a guideline for exposure and contrast, and the stripe chart is a tool to help you achieve focus on your target. Okay, let's talk about how to use this tool. To get the best results, when you start your video, you just wanna have your subject hold the color chart and the gray chart next to their face for a second. Make sure your fingers aren't touching the squares and make sure there are no reflections in the glossy panels. And you just wanna do this for each new scene, new camera, or new lighting conditions. Step two, actually that's pretty much it. Now we go to Premiere. From what I'm seeing online, most people use the color checker in DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro, and I think that's because they have some software support there, but Adobe has yet to add it as a native feature in Premiere. The majority of the ways I've found involve messing with masks and lumetric scopes, uh, but I did find this nifty tool by Matt Roberts that is just a plugin to use the color checker in Premiere. To use the plugin, you simply apply the filter under the effects panel. Then you want to pick the color checker you have from the drop down menu. You could just click find card and frame, but I found that if you click on the effect and adjust the position of the trackers manually, you get a more accurate reading. And then you would just click read from frame and then your color should be perfect. Although the plugin does say that it includes white balance correction. If you wanted to do this manually, you would need a frame of you holding up the target for white balance, mask it out and adjust the values on the right until your lumetric scopes has just one point at the center, which could get really annoying. And that's why this plugin is awesome, especially for those people that just want to edit in Premiere and don't necessarily want to learn a new editing software just for color correction. Color correction though is usually only one step of color in video. Most people like to grade their footage as well to give it a special look. If you're interested in how people do that, I have a video on that and I'll put a link up here. Until the next video, thank you for watching and I will see you later.